2001 F550 7.3. This could apply to other vehicles that are Ford. I got a new alternator because my other one wasn't charging at an idle, or so I thought. That alternator didn't work. I ended up getting three alternators that never charged. So, here's what I did to fix it. This might help you out. You may want to get a pack of these 330 ohm resistors and also like a one amp diode. The system right here on a Ford for it to be able to charge has two wires that come off of this plug right here. One of them is supposed to go to a constant 12 volt. This will be lit up with a constant 12 volt whether the key is on or off. The wire that goes, the second wire that goes to your alternator plug is supposed to come out of your wiring harness from your fuse box and that's supposed to supply 12 volts. The resistor is supposed to limit the amount of power that goes to it and the diode is like a check valve that keeps electricity from flowing back into the system and possibly shorting out your fuse box. So mine wasn't charging at idle and it wasn't charging you know, above a certain RPM basically at all um, because it didn't have the excite wire hooked up. So when I tested mine and I had my key on, I didn't have 12 volts to this green and red wire out of the harness. So what I did is I pigtailed into the wiring harness and brought this red wire out with my resistor and my diode. And when you turn the key on, it has a voltage supply to the exciter wire now. And that exciter wire is what offers some electricity to the field and in combination with this wire it'll allow the alternator to charge so if you have a new alternator or your batteries were dead and and those weren't charging it could be as simple as one of the five amp fuses in your fuse box in my case all my fuses were good so i believe there's some break in the wire somewhere down the line which i couldn't find in the harness so i bypassed my wire now i have voltage to this when i turn the key on and as soon as i start it up the alternator starts charging. So I would check that out if you have a problem with your charging system, um, not charging up the way you want it to, or at an idle or at any other point. If it's not, if it doesn't have that exciter wire that has 12 volts to it, just make sure that you have a uh, voltage to that wire so it can excite your alternator and charge it. Those are my best tips for you if you're having a problem. I had three alternators that apparently didn't work, or I thought they didn't, but actually all of them did. So it was my 12 volts exciter wire the entire time that my alternators weren't charging.